Vermont state leaders are working to get more people vaccinated against COVID-19. NBC 5's Zuri Hoffman was at Governor Scott's press briefing today. She joins us now live outside UVA Medical Center with the big takeaways from today. Zuri. Brian, more than 6,000 Vermont residents have received the vaccine so far. Dozens of people in long-term care facilities uh, received the vaccine this week, in fact. Today, state leaders seem content with the progress so far, but acknowledge there is still a road ahead here. I know many are beginning their holiday festivities today on Christmas Eve. During a time when people are getting together with their loved ones, the state is working on efforts that could make future holidays more enjoyable. We will vaccinate Vermont as fast as possible. We're receiving shipments weekly. On Wednesday, Vermont received more than 11,000 doses of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine and are on track to have received 34,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine by New Year's. As more people get the shots, the state also launching the Vermont vaccine dashboard to show the number of people vaccinated and the number of doses administered. They plan to update the information weekly for now. As the numbers grow, you'll be able to see vaccination rates by sex, age, ethnicity, race, and county. And as the state continues to vaccinate healthcare workers and those in long-term care facilities, they are also thinking about who's next. The state's vaccine implementation advisory group met on Wednesday to help finalize Vermont's plan. They hope to have a recommendation next week. There are nearly 630,000 people in Vermont and a very large number of people to be vaccinated just in priority group 1A with another large number expected in Group 1B. Though it could be several months before the average person could get a shot, Levine is emphasizing patience since doses given out now benefits everyone. For those of us who must be patient, every dose being given out right now makes the difference for all of us. For every Vermonter who is vaccinated benefits us all. And Levine says Vermont's seven day positivity rate remains low and Vermont still has the lowest positivity rate in the country. In fact, we're live in Burlington. I'm Zuri Hoffman, NBC 5 News.